Hi. In the last session, we understand that how the operators can move from the traditional radio access network system to an advanced cloud native RAN systems. We discussed about the different stages which can help operators to gradually upgrade their ecosystems. Now, before going deeper, let's look over the traditional radio access network cell and site area. Then we will have some overview of traditional RAN and how the evolved open RAN gonna different from the existing RAN systems. Okay. Now let's have some overview of traditional RAN and how evolved open RAN going to be different from the existing RAN systems. First quickly see the traditional RAN system. Here this is the BBU baseband unit that also includes the radio unit and this is the core network part like EPC evolved packet core includes MME, HSS, SWW, PGW likewise and there is the connectivity with the external network. There is a backhaul for the connectivity between the RAN network and EPC. This is just a high level, we are not going in deep today. Now coming to the evolved RAN part, here we take the general reference of 5G NR or 5G new radio network or called 5G RAN. We can see the DU distributed unit and the CU centralized unit. These are the two main parts who acts like the same as single BB unit in the traditional RAN system. These two units can be split and can be placed at two different positions in the site based on the type of BB units. Same we do in the traditional RAN systems as well. Again depends on the type of physical units. If they are separate, BB unit can be placed near to cabinet and DD unit can be placed near to the antenna. In the evolved RAN, we can see the virtualization is enabled in the network at CU centralized unit. You can also see the cloudification here for GNODB centralized unit and UPF. So there are multiple centralized unit here in the pool and they can distribute the resource to the individual sites and cells based on the requirement. And this way makes the resource utilization more efficient. This cloudification also allows the edge computing which introduced after disaggregation of radio access network. Now because distributed unit and centralized unit are separated as you see in the picture, there is a connectivity needed between these two units. This we call mid hall, we will talk about that later. There is a front hall too which we call e -Cipri. Ok, this was some high level overview on the stages and evolutions of RAN and high level architecture of evolved RAN system. Now quickly understand how telcos and operators can go forward to the acceptance and deployment of ORAN in their networks. Well, as I said, the transactions from the legacy network to the ORAN is not just like one go, but it need to be happen in stages. So instead of jumping to the cloud RAN street, Telcos and operators can prefer to deploy the virtualization in the distributed RAN initially. So with this scenario of distributed RAN, both the units means centralized unit and distributed unit kept at the cell or site area. With this approach, there will not be a huge shift in the hardware part, but this will allow the customization from the software front. Means operators can add or manage the new features and functions at cell or site label with the help of softwares and that too on the same hardware. At the next stage, operators and telcos can move to the centralized units away from the cell or site and they can deploy the cloud based centralized unit. This cloud based centralized unit is able to serve more than one cell or site in the network. And based on the resource requirements, this cloud-based centralized unit will allocate the resources to the respective cells or site, which are connected with that centralized unit. However, the distribution unit is still present at the cell or site area. Hence, we need a connectivity between the cloud centralized unit to the cell or site distribution unit. This mid-hall interface or connectivity introduced when the split architecture planned for distributed unit and centralized unit. For good and stable connectivity, this mid-hall will connect the centralized unit and distributed unit through the fiber line, which some operators can own or some operators can hire on the lease too. However, this is not only limited to the wired connectivity, wireless mid-hall is also an option. 
So the centralized unit will be placed at some central location of multiple cell or site and all the cell or site will be connected through a mid hall connectivity and all the cell or site will have the shared resources pooled at the centralized cloud unit and they will get the resources based on the requirement. There is one additional option where both the units means centralized unit and distributed unit will move to the cloud area at one specific central location and all the cells and sites will have the connectivity between their radio units and centralized distribution unit. So operators can choose any preferred solution they want based on the type of services and offerings. In the upcoming session, we will be talking about the protocol layers and their functionalities and some high level overview of ORAN architecture. So stay tuned for the updates. If you do not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.